Hello! Welcome to this first tutorial about how to build your first skill cartridge with the Luxit Content Enrichment Studio. If you don't know what a skill cartridge is, you may want to take a look at www.temis.com or better even at community.temis.com where the notion of a skill cartridge and Luxit is, is explained in detail and you find lots of um, associated information. But let's assume for in the essence that a skill cartridge is a software component that lets us find uh, specific information in text documents with the Luxit software. So that's what we want to do and um, so let's get started. And uh, I assume in what follows that you have installed the Luxit Content Enrichment Studio on your machine. And um, if that is the case, then if you open up your program menu and you go to Temis Content Enrichment Studio, you find an application that is called the Skill Cartridge Builder. And as the name suggests, this is what we need in order to build a skill cartridge. That takes a moment to fire up. So I've done that previously. And um, some of you may recognize that it is built um, around the um, Eclipse platform and Eclipse organizes its work in, um, in projects. And since we want to do a skill cartridge project, we say file and new and we open up a new skill cartridge project. Now, first of all, we need to give it a name. Um, many uh, first um, tutorials on new programming languages start with a Hello World program. Here we um, want to follow a slightly different route. We want to recognize a simple piece of information. And let's say for the moment we want to recognize an ISBN number. Now what is an ISBN number? An ISBN number is what we see here. It's um, a certain uh, a number code that lets you unambiguously refer internationally to a book. And it has a specific format, a um, couple of um, numbers, followed by a couple of numbers, followed by a couple of numbers. And that's what we want to do. So let's get back to our application. And let's call it Recognize ISBN. Uh, we accept all the defaults. And now we have a new project here. And the Skill Cartridge Builder has done quite some work for us and built um, a, a directory structure inside that we can just um, uh, use here. And we enter our code in the folder SU. If we open that up, we find code that the application has prepared for us. And we now need to work on this SCP file. Um, if I double click on that, it opens in the browser and we can enter our code. Now, what do we want to do? We want our cartridge to recognize an entity and um, this uh, sample code here says, well, why not call it test? But we know better. We don't want to call it test. We want to call it an ISBN number. And now here we are invited to say, what is the pattern that our cartridge is supposed to recognize? And well, an ISBN number often starts with ISBN followed by, which is encoded with this slash, a couple of numbers. And then as we have seen more numbers and as we have seen more numbers. And the last one, if you remember, was just either one number or an X. So that is the format that we want to recognize. We have entered that now into this pattern. That's everything we have done. The rest is template code that the application offers us for free. And if we are happy with what we have done, we press save. And the application saves and compiles what we have done here. So apparently there are no errors. Luckily, we can test our cartridge if we switch to the annotation perspective. I click here and I get to a different um, little application and select my newly built cartridge, the RECO ISBN. That's the cartridge that we have just built. And if I enter a little piece of text here with an ISBN number um, inside a sentence and I press annotate, then what I get is we find our ISBN number and um, and this is the entity that we have encoded into our cartridge. 
may seem simple, but let's be happy that it worked. We have um, written our first cartridge that does what it's supposed to do, return an ISBN number. If we want to now uh, want to save our work now, we go back to the skilled cartridge pers perspective. We right click on this folder here on the Reco ISBN skill cartridge. And down here we have an option called skill cartridge. Export the resulting SCA. That's short for the skill cartridge archive file. And if we do that, we can enter a path. Uh, why not use this one here or why not call it Reco ISBN? as we have called our project we say export and it's done so now that was a quick ride through using the skill cartridge builder in order to build your own first skill cartridge um, again that was a very simple example cartridges can be more complex and they will often be more complex they can take longer to build they will take longer to build but that should give you an idea about how to get started, how to build your first own component. Um, and more complex examples of what we just uh, saw will be explained in upcoming tutorials in the future. Thanks for listening in and that was it for today.